see housing finance but let's focus on Punjab National Bank now it is in focus the lender has reported its best net interest income growth in 10 quarters even as slippages remained elevated note that employee costs weighed on profitability in quarter two to discuss the quarter gone by we are joined by Atul Kumar Goyal who is the MD and CEO of the bank Mr. Goyal good afternoon thanks a lot for joining us well your NII growth is the best in 10 quarters profits however impacted by some uh, elevated employee costs this time around but I wanted to check on credit costs first because they are elevated at 236 basis points versus 250 ba two basis points on a quarter on quarter basis what is the outlook on the same uh, thank you very much regarding the credit cost madam it is not increased if you see the quarter you are talking about the quarter to quarter it was 2.46 percent the total provision for the june 2022 quarter it was 4814 crore which has reduced to 3559 so it has reduced 1.76 as compared to the quarter to quarter 2.46. Although it was, if you see the uh, last year, YOY, then it was 1.47 in the last year. But quarter to quarter, sequential basis, pay, it is decreasing. Yes, sir. But I wanted to know, since they are still at elevated levels, what, are, what is the outlook on credit costs in general? Credit cost, uh, we uh, 1.76, it has reduced from the 2.46. The whole of the year, we are giving the guidance of the, it will be remain within 2% or less than 2%. Okay. Okay. So 2% or less. Can you talk about your net interest margins, sir? Your net interest margins have come in at a seven quarter high. Global NIMS at 3%, while domestic NIMS are also at 3%. Can you sustain NIMS at these levels? Because now increasingly we are seeing a lot of banks, uh, you know, you know, increase uh, the lending rate as well. So what's the outlook on NIMS? The outlook of the name, there is two things. Like the name in percentage, the name in the absolute number. Absolute number, mein, there is an increase in the 30% as compared to the Y O Y Y, Y. And we will maintain the name in the absolute number also e quarter to quarter. And it will further increase. The reason of the increase in the in NIIA, because there is an increase in the advance where we are having the high yield also because we have in changed the portfolio from the corporate to the RAM where we are getting the good yield. And the other thing is also because we are getting the recovery, you see the recovery number. Recovery number, we have given the target last year, 32,000 for whole of the year. So 8,000 per quarter, this time per quarter in the September, it was 8,500 plus. So whatever recovery we are having, it is starting yielding. So this is the reason that recovery in the next quarter and the March quarter will also improve. So NIM in absolute number will also increase. And 2.9 was the last quarter and 3.11 is the current quarter. So we are giving the guidance key. It will remain within the range of the 2.9 to 3%. Okay, 2.9 to 3% is the NIM guidance, that is net interest margin guidance uh, by PNB. Uh, do you stick to the guidance when it comes to your gross and net NPA? You had told us last time you aim to bring down net NPA to 3.5% by March 31st and uh, gross NPA to be less than 10%. There has been an improvement in both these numbers this quarter as well. Are we headed towards this guidance? No, you are very much right. We are revising the guidance. Because we we have seen ki whatever the number of the recovery we have filled and slippage is less than the less than the recovery number. So last time we have given the guidance ki our gross NPA by March 23 will be the uh, single digit that we are meeting. But the net NPA which we have told you it will be 3.5. Now we are revising because we have already touched the 3.80. So it will be uh, three or less than three in the March 23. Okay, three or less than three. And gross NPA, sir? You said gross sub 10%, NPA, but any number? Single digit, yeah. It will come in the single digit, yeah. Because as on date, if you do 10.48%, and every quarter by quarter by quarter, it is a, there is a reduction of the 60 to 70 basis point. So we can think it will be the less than 10%, maybe around 9.75, yeah. Okay. Can you talk about the uh, you know growth that you're seeing on the loan front, the advances growth? And if you could provide some color on the outlook of that and in various segments that you operate? The loan growth, if you see as on date, why, why it is 12.84%. And last time we have given the guidance key that will be around 10%. So we are also revising. Now it will be within the range of the uh, 12 to 13%. And the, there is a lot of demand from the infra side also. 
infra side mein road project is it, it is a demand from the uh, steel sector also and some of the corporate who were not utilizing their working capital limit they have also starting the utilization and there is a lot of demand from the nbfcs also we and we are doing the finance to nbfc as on date my exposure to the nbfc is 118000 crore out of 118000 crore rupees 97% is a and above rate external rate okay so that is about uh, your growth guidance there as well what about slippages uh, this time around it has declined on a quarter on quarter basis you had spoken about 6000 crore rupees slippages every quarter will you be able to revising that as well considering that the other parameters are looking so much better than earlier yeah we are on the right path madam we are on the very right path it will decline quarter to quarter also because if you see the last quarter the slippage was in the range of the 6400 plus which has reduced to less than 6000 crore in the september quarter so quarter by quarter it will be released our endeavor was ki recovery should be more than the slippage the debt we have achieved in the last quarter also last quarter our recovery was 7057 crore as against the slippage of 6400 this time recovery was 8500 plus against the slippage less than 6000 crore so we are also of the view ki it will remain within the range of the 5500 to 6000 crore in the quarters to come but 23 24 that will be the very golden period for the punjab national bank okay so next year is going to be the golden period for pnb one final question sir are you looking to monetize your stake in any subsidies jvs as on date we don't have any plan to uh, monetize in the any uh, holding in the subsidiary except one of one of the arc which we have to bring less than 10% as per the regulation guidelines Okay all right Mr Goel it was a pleasure speaking with you thank you so much for joining us and taking those questions as well so that's Punjab National Bank they have revised guidance for net NPA it was earlier 3.5% it will now be 3% or less than 3% gross NPA will be uh, as per the earlier guidance of 10% and in terms of their loan growth also they are looking at looking at a number of 12 to 13% in terms of growth versus 10% earlier so the stock is under some pressure down around 1.5% With that, we'll do one thing. We'll slip into a break now. Up next, we'll be joined by Siddhartha Sage, the joint MD at Vishnu Chemicals, to discuss the company.